Hiya, welcome to GGKCS, the podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross stitch, and geeky. I am Cece, my pronouns are they, them. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd of May, 2024. And we here, we are here for an unboxing of the Black Needle Society Special Edition box. Pumpkin, leave that alone. Leave it. Uh, which UPS kind of tore up and punched a hole in the box. But everything seems to be okay just from a quick glance. I just opened it to make sure there was no, like, tears in the top layer of anything because that's where they really eat it up. It seems to be okay. Uh, we are going to be unboxing. It's a special edition, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Oh, that picture is so pretty. Um, so, as always, uh, there's the spoiler card. There's a note. This box is a special edition, and it has a finishing class uh, with it. Um, and then some books to stitch and read, and some spotlight pictures um, from other boxes. So, we are just going to go down this list. Oh, let me talk about the elephant in the room. About a week and a half ago, Cece is sitting here crafting, and on a Zoom, a crafty Zoom, pumpkin, leave it alone. Back off. Practicing. She wants the tripod thingy that's connected to the table. Anyway, I reach back to my basket here to grab something out to show them, and I brought my hand up like this, and there's a table here that has a lip on it, and I hit my finger under the table. Of course, went because I was sure I had broken it. Um, had a nurse look at it at work. He was pretty sure, well, I had call, like I called the nurse line. There was a nurse already on the Zoom, thankfully. And uh, I called the nurse line. And then the, one of the nurses who used to work in the ER, ED, uh, emergency department at work, looked at it. And he was like, I think it's just a bone bruise and a sprain. Uh, but if it's still you know, inflamed and such, you probably should get an x-rayed. So I had an x-rayed like five days after it happens. Thankfully it's not broken. It is just, which means I have not been able to knit at all. Thankfully I can still cross stitch. I'm supposed to wear this through Friday, although I've started to take it off and try to use it. It hurts like the Dickens. Um, I was just had therapy before uh, before I started recording this, and I told my therapist I'm probably going to still wear the splint at night for even a few extra days, just because you know during the day I can protect it, but at night you just never know. So anyway, that's the elephant in the room. Okay, let's move on. All right, first up. Oh, so excited about this. The Telltale Thread Hearts, made by Adam Hart, were mad for these custom thread hearts inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's short story and murderous black-hearted main character. So I want to open these up. I have some other of these. I can't remember which box they came in. Ooh. Look at that pretty, pretty red and black. So the way I use these is I put my um ring through the small hole i put my my main like after i cut the floss or if it's fancy floss i take it off and put it on here and then i use this small little part to put the piece that i've taken off and i've pulled strands out i put the leftover there and if i'm like stitching with a color and then finish it but there's still enough floss left to use again which i've discovered some people just throw that away and I'm like, I can't do that. I can't do that. It's I put that also there. You can also wind on these, but I don't like to wind my floss. And um, there are these little stickers that you can put on so you can write the floss uh, name or number. And I always use one of the friction erasable pens so that you can use them over and over before you finally have to stop because the sticker has gotten all whatever. Okay. Oh, how funny. It's bigger than my head. The Gingerbread Hags Oven Mitt, designed by the Black Needle Society. Baking up some evil plans? Make sure you don't get burned like the gingerbread hag for Hansel and Gretel with this exclusive oven mitt. And it says, 
Nibble, nibble, little mouse, who is nibbling at my house? That is super cute. I need an oven mitt. I only have a, um, just a hot pad. And you can also do a puppet show. Hello, people. That's cute. I like that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. How fun. Okay, I'll tell you in a minute. These. Crowley's Demon Wings Embroidery Scissors, curated by the Black Needle Society. Crowley can't be all bad if his best friend is an angel, though he did help start the apocalypse. Use these scissors inspired by the Good Omens Demon's Black Wings when working on your next project. Can you see the wings? And it's, it's super funny because I was recommending a book to my therapist um, that had nothing to do with this, and they were saying that they had been listening to the audiobook of Good Omens. So that's really funny that it came up. That, those are beautiful. And I don't have, like, all of my crafting scissors are, like, the shorter ones. So, except for my pair that came, that were my great-grandmother's. Um, my great-grandmother, Opal. And um, they're very special to me, those scissors. So these are, the, that's a really awesome, awesome, awesome one. Okay. Got a little baggie here. I'm trying to get into it. Oh, um, the Evil Queen's Pocket Mirror, designed by the Black Needle Society. Just because you may be bad doesn't mean you don't want to look your best. Make sure you're the fairest of them all with this travel pocket mirror. It says, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the Who in this land is fairest of all? How many CCs can you see? That's fun. I haven't had a pocket mirror in forever. That's fun. Okay. Um, okay, this is going to be a needle minder. And remember, you don't have to tear. You just have to open. The package says the Count of Monte Cristo. Ooh. Kings to You Needle Minder. Designed by the Black Needle Society, the Count of Monte Cristo is full of villains and anti-heroes. Celebrate your life's or stitching's victories with this needle minder inspired by the chess piece exchanged by Dante's and Mondego. And it says, Kings to you, and it's a chess piece, and then it has chains all around it. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's going to focus. That's beautiful. Uh, flosses. Here we go. Specialty flosses. Villainous exclusive thread pack made by the Gentle Art Sampler Threads. Kind of want to read it first before I look at them. We asked the Gentle Art to create a thread pack for us inspired by some of our favorite literary villains and anti-heroes. Count Olaf from a series of unfortunate events. Elphaba from Wicked. Ursula! Or the sea witch from Little Mermaid. I love Ursula. And Moriarty from The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. <sighs> okay, here's Moriarty. I need, like, something to hold it up against. I don't have anything that doesn't have stuff on it. Okay, here, we'll do that. <gasps> Look at the variegation. Oh, okay, so that was Moriarty. This is Count Olaf. Ooh. That's fantastic. This is Elphaba, of course, green. Oh, and Ursula. Look at those purples and browns. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to make my watch stop beeping. Oh, those are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flosses. Okay. Let's, okay, this is... I pulled this box out and it made the box be um, different, counterweighted. Oh, wait, there's something else in here. Okay. Um, okay. 
Maiden Mother and Crone Cauldron Bowl and Spoon, designed by Courtney Johnson. By the pricking of our thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Cast your own curses with this cauldron bowl inspired by Shakespeare's witches from Macbeth, or simply serve up some scrumptious soup. The choice is yours. So it says double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble, and then the spoon. That is really cool. It has care instructions inside it, which is good. So that you know if you can microwave it, if you know if you can um, put it in the dishwasher. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'm gonna set this over here so I don't accidentally drop it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, we have the God of Mischief fabric. Made by Laura's Fabrics. What chaos will you cross-stitch on this gorgeous, gorgeous custom color fabric? On this gorgeous custom fabric from Laura Marillo. This color was inspired by our favorite mischievous god, Loki. Oh, look at that. So this is a 16 count Ada. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. And it's got a, like a search and find puzzle on the back. Oh, I see tomfoolery. I could sit and look at that forever. I love puzzles like that. This fabric is stunning. Way to go, team. Okay. Next up is going to crinkle. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. Oh, wow. Maleficent's Project Bag. Designed by June Page Art. Keep your stitching safe from evil curses. Cast by Slided Fay Queens in this water-resistant project bag. You wouldn't want to sleep on your stitching for 100 years while you wait for someone to come wake you up. So it's the same on both sides. And it's got a beautiful purple interior, of course. These size bags are just, like, perfect. I, I like this size bag. Because it allows me to put one of the uh, I, I'm not really using Q-snaps much anymore. I'm using those other like rectangular hoops that I can't think of the name of. Anyway, they fit really good in here. And then your flosses. Yeah. Okay. I think all that's left is the pattern and the finishing. Let's just make sure. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm going to read it to you first. Bring Me Her Heart Kit and Finishing Kit. Designed by the Black Needle Society. Made by Wichelt, Weeks Dye Works, and Lady Dot Creates. Inspired by Snow White's Evil Queen. Sorry, Snow White's Evil's Queen. Y'all. Snow White's Evil Queen's Murderous Pursuit. This design depicts the poison apple encased in a heart in the woods. Once you finish stitching this piece, check your inbox for finishing instructions from Lady.Creates and join us for, for our Zoom finishing class. Okay, so here's the bag. Bring me her heart. So I'm going to, so it came with a piece of 32 count linen, vintage country mocha made by Wichelt. So I'm going to need to um, find a 16 count Ada in my stash, but it's only 44 by 44, which is awesome. And what they did, it looks like, was sent to us. Sorry, just enough of the flosses 
So these are not full skeins to do it. So there's weak style. So these are all weak style words. So there's grapevine, Aztec red, Merlot, Raisin rum. Did I miss one? There should be one more. There it is. It got stuck in the bag. Sorry, y'all. Uh, sun dried. I was like, where's the other one? Um, and then we have a finishing kit, the Mirror Mirror finishing kit. And so that's what the front's going to look like. I'm going to cover up the pattern because when we finish, it will be a pocket to hold, put the mirror in, which is super cool. So this should stitch up hopefully very quickly because it's only five colors and it's only 44 by 44 and it's not full coverage. So hopefully I need to find a, some 16 count Ada to use instead and stitch it up because I would love to do the finishing. I would love to learn how to do this finishing uh, at the finishing class. They are going to record the finishing class in case you miss it. Um, so just as an FYI. Okay, so that's everything. So we have the pattern and um, the fabric, the floss, and the finishing kit along with the finishing class that we'll be doing. Oops, I forgot to put all the flosses in there. I don't want to misplace any of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I just don't want to accidentally misplace any of them. Okay, so there's that. Um, I'm trying to decide what order going. There's the beautiful project bag. There is the stunning fabric. There are the specialty flosses. I'm going to show Dammy all this. Uh, that's why I'm not putting it away very carefully. There is the uh, needle minder. There is the mirror. There are the oh, gorgeous scissors. There is the oven mitt. There are the thread hearts. And there is the cauldron and the spoon. So this was a special edition box. So I purchased this box, but I am a rep for the Black Needle Society, which means um, I get the every other month boxes and I share them with y'all through an unboxing. And um, so they have something called the, the Vault on their website, theblackneedlesociety.com. And there are like all the extras from boxes. So anything that you purchase in the vault is 5% off with the coupon code JAVAPEARL5, J-A-V-A-P-U-R-L, and the number 5. Um, and just as an FYI, the nice list, which is their Advent-style winter Christmas box in December, so it's 25 days worth, is going to be on sale, I believe, to the public. I think it's on Saturday. I think current subscribers get it for, can purchase Friday. That feels right to me. But they have announced uh, on social media the three designers who are Ink Circles, The Artsy Housewife, Silver Creek Samplers. Um, they are offering a payment plan, a three payment payment plan for it, which is awesome. Um, and you all know, if you've been around, I love doing my, um, vlogmas slash flossmas, uh, vlogs every day in December. And this year I'm going to have a lot of stuff to open. I have the nice list. I'm doing a different yarn dyers Christmas, uh, sock, sock yarn. Uh, I have a Gilmore girls advent calendar coming. Um, I am probably going to do a coffee advent. I feel like there's another one. Anyway, I love doing the unboxings for y'all or the, the daily vlogs for y'all in December. So I am looking forward to buying the nice list box. Um, 
So anyway, in the vault, 5% off Java Pro 5. Um, with that, I am going to go. I have not had dinner yet, and I need to eat, and I need to get this processing. And um, I may record June's episode early for y'all. Because I have the four day week, I, I have a four day weekend next weekend because I always have a three day weekend and then we're off for the Monday holiday. So I might record June's um, over the long weekend. Um, I just feel like that might be a better fit, uh, fit with my schedule. So I'm going to try to do that. Thank you for understanding. Mental health is rough and we do what we can. So with that, I'm going to go. Uh, something wicked this way comes. Happy crafting, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.